So fear makes you to reject opportunities. Those opportunities come close to you, they are presented to you, but because of fear, You're welcome beautiful people. Thank you so much for clicking. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. I know that the world is passing through a lot of difficulties now, a lot of confusions here and there. And that is why there's a need for us to actually encourage ourselves. Are you getting me now? In the best way we can. And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this uh, session. Okay. Let it be an interactive one. And um, I want you guys to please, first of all, comment down below, what are you scared of, okay? We're talking about fear. How can we overcome fear in times like this? Every one of us is guilty of this fear of a thing. It may not will I really call it guilt, but definitely every one of us, there is an atom of fear in our heart. Am I right? So tell me, what are you scared of at this moment now, in times like these? That's the first thing I would like to ask you. Please, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. And if you are an old returning subscriber, thank you so much for always joining. Please make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified anytime I upload a new video. So let's go to the video right away. Now, considering the situation that is, uh, that is going on in the world today, the whole wide world, okay, nowhere is paired, okay, the pandemic that we are facing in the world today. Uh, are you really afraid? Okay, let me know. Are you are you scared? Do you wake up sometimes and you're like, ah, you know, what is really happening all over the world, you know? Or maybe, you know, you have relatives in other places, in those places where there are high cases, okay, they have high index of this. Does that, like, you know, put some kind of itches on your body, okay? Does it trigger you to fear? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, fortunately enough, I would like to tell you that all fears are learned. When I mean learned, I mean L-E-A-R-N-E-D. No fear is actually original. Are you getting me now? Fear is created. That's the major word. Fear is created. Are you getting me? And somebody actually described fear, F-E-A-R, as what? False experiences appearing real. Okay? False experiences appearing real that thing has not really happened to you are you getting me now or it has not even come upon your relatives or whoever you are you are, you are scared about or you are afraid of but it is an experience you're already feeling within you are you getting me now and it's looking like it's appearing real so that is fear for you now no one is born with fears okay it's still it's still uh, related to what i just I said earlier, no one is born of fear. I get in fear is created. Okay, fear spruits up due to situations and challenges that come our way. Now, I'm going to be telling you briefly in this video how you can over overcome your fear, how we together can overcome our fear, especially in times like this when the world is in chaos, when everyone is confused and people are running elder skelter, governments of what are getting confused day by day. What should you do to be able to what, overcome your fear? There are different kinds of fear, of course. There is fear of failure, are you getting me now? There is fear of poverty, there is fear of the loss of money, okay? There is fear of uh, sickness, are you getting me now? Sicknesses, illnesses. And, and right now in the world, there is the fear of what? The viral that is going viral. The virus that is going viral. That there is that fear right now in the world, which falls under the fear of what? Sicknesses, okay? And dangerous uh, diseases. I would like you to know that fear is dangerous and it allows you to do what? Number one, avoid any type of risk, okay? Fear makes you to avoid risk taking risks are you getting me now for example now because of fear okay there are many things that you cannot do at this point in time am i right or wrong yes apart from what is happening in the world today naturally if you are afraid of something you will not be able to take up that challenge because the fear is within okay number two fear makes you to reject opportunities that comes your way even in times like this now, when they say work from home and or stay at home or stay safe and we are at home, there are many opportunities that are bound. Okay, if you want a video on opportunities that you can do, okay, while uh, in this kind of trying times in this period, opportunities that you can you can actually uh, take on or embark on to keep you busy, let me know in the comment section below, and I will be glad to 
prepare a video for you on opportunities that you can actually start working on. So fear makes you to reject opportunities. Those opportunities come close to you, they are presented to you, but because of fear, what happens? You reject them. You say, no, I don't need this opportunity now. And when the fear was not there, those are opportunities that you will have grabbed with all of your In fact, some of these opportunities are opportunities that you have been waiting for, you have been dreaming about for a very, very long time. Okay, and now that those opportunities are coming closer and closer, then something comes up and you are afraid. Okay, you are frightened. Are you getting me now? And then what happens? You reject those opportunities wholeheartedly without even thinking twice. That is how dangerous fear is. Fear is very deceptive. Okay, it is deceitful. Are you getting me now? And most of the times, fear lies. When I mean lie, I mean telling lies. Okay, fear tells lies a lot. And it makes you what? To remain where you are and not move forward. It doesn't allow you to take up the challenge they are supposed to take up. Let me state here as a disclaimer that when we are talking of fear now, especially in this kind of situation where we find ourselves, we are not saying fear makes you stay at home. No, because you must stay at home in times like this. If you want this thing to stop spreading, we must stay at home. But what we are talking about is the other application of fear that as you are even staying at home, is your life productive? Fear makes your life not to be what productive in times like this. And that is why we must look at it critically and try to what examine ourselves again okay and try to what fuel our productivity uh pause or life and see that we can be able to what get active again and be encouraged that no matter what is happening no matter the situation our life will not be useless in times like this because many people i want to tell you as this situation is going on in the world some people are actually you know benefiting from it yeah, why some cannot benefit anything really much because fear has already gripped such individuals. There are a lot of online jobs that one can do in times like this, but because of fear, it doesn't even make you to go out to research about those kind of jobs, whether they exist or not. And now that you are you are not doing anything, you are just at home. Fear just makes you every time you are afraid, you are you are you are, you are afraid. Of course, we are humans, and even myself, we are afraid. But there is a solution for you today that if you want to be productive, even in times like this, I will tell you a few ways on how you can what, overcome your fear. Okay? Fear also makes you what to stop trying anything at all. Fear makes you stop trying. Fear paralyzes you. Do you understand now? And fear is a great enemy which we must fight. If we must make progress in life, apart from what's happening now, Generally, in our daily life, in our normal life, if we must make progress in life, we must fight our fears. And that's why you hear this common quote say, fight your fears, okay? Fight your fears. That was where the, uh, what do you call it, the thumbnail of this video came from, okay? Fight your fear. Fight your fears. Fight your fears, yes. You must take it as a challenge that is right in your front and fight it till the very end fear means false experiences appearing what real false experiences appearing real that is what fear is most of the time the thing has never not even happened to you but you are what you are afraid because the experience comes it's like a mirage okay you know a mirage like you are looking at the road and you don't even know it's a road you think that they pour water or something oily on the road but rather it is the ray of the sun that is on that thing. That is what fear can do. It makes things look so real even though they are not real. Fear can hold one back throughout life, brethren. My friends watching, fear can hold one down and backward throughout life. So, it is time to fight our fears. It is time to be resilient. It is time to stand as one and say no to fear in times like this. How then can we overcome our fears? Number one, we must confront the fears. To be able to overcome something, you must confront that thing. Are you getting me now? 
If you are running away from your fears, then you cannot overcome that fear. The more you keep running away from the fear, the more the fear keeps what pursuing you. If you must overcome your fear, you must confront it immediately. Number two, stop running away from your fear. Stop running away from the fear. Still the same thing I'm saying, right? Stop running away from your fear. Grab the fear and let it come, okay? And then you challenge it back. See, it as a challenge that comes your way. Number three, move towards your fear. Move towards your fear. Come closer to that fear. So until you confront your fear, until you come close to your fear, until you stop running away from your fear, you may really not be able to make any progress at all. Another thing is, deal with your fear directly. Don't look for shortcuts. Don't look for shortcuts. Deal with that fear directly. Directly, face to face and say, You, this fear, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Kick that fear. Practicalize all the things we are saying, okay? When these things come to you and you are great, say to yourself, I can do it. Say to yourself, I can do it. Especially when it comes to fear of failure, you understand? Maybe you are in the academic line and you have been preparing for that exam, preparing for that exam, but the fear is there because you have not written the exam before. And you are like, ah, I don't know the question this, this, uh, this lecturer or whatever will bring out and stuff like that. And you are afraid. You won't make any much progress. When you stand your ground and you are resilient, be resilient, that's another thing, be resilient. You are resilient, you stand on your ground. I ain't afraid of anything, no matter what. I will not be afraid. Say no to your fears today. Don't run away from them. And finally, plan ahead of your fears. Plan ahead of your fears, yes. Of course, you know that fears will definitely come as far as we are humans in this life. Fears of the unknown. Plan ahead of it. And you will make much progress. You will overcome that fear. I can see you strong. I can see you resilient. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. I believe this world have encouraged you today. And we are praying that things will get better all over the world very soon. For those who have lost their lives in this pandemic, we pray that their souls will rest in perfect peace. For those who are critically sick at the moment, facing this pandemic, we pray that they shall be healed. And for those who are in the front line of this pandemic, and they have family members also, they have wives, they have husbands, they have children, we pray for them that they shall be protected. Stay safe anywhere you're all over the world. Obey the regulations of the government. Stay at home so that others can be safe and you yourself can be safe. I love you guys so much more than my heart can take. Please comment down below because I love to see your comments. I love to read your comments and I will respond to all your comments. Tell us more on how we can overcome fear, especially in critical times like this. So I see you next time. I remain my humble self, Evan Fatox. Stay positive, much love, and God bless you. Bye-bye.